Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Law and Economics. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the cost theorem, the classic cost theorem when there are no transaction costs. Ronald Harry Coase was a famous British economist and receiver of the Nobel Prize in 91 for his contribution on the importance of transaction cost when it comes to property right allocation. One of his most famous contributions is his article from 1960 called The Problem of Social Cost. Here he stipulates his groundbreaking consideration regarding the transaction cost and the importance of transaction cost when we talk about solving externality problems. He, one of the main things about his approach is that private parties can bargain their way out. Hence, we do not need always state interference by example giving taxation, which was the normal accepted approach and the approach presented by British economist Arthur Pigou before Coase came into the picture. So when we come to the Coase theorem, we have to remind ourselves that he actually did not stipulate or formulate the theorem himself. He wrote about the theory behind the theorem, but it is other authors that has finalized the formulation and the terminology of the theorem. Therefore, you will see different kind of formulations depending on the source that you uh, that you use when you try to use the Coase uh, theorem. In this video, I will use two different versions and it will be from Kuto Lin and Ida and Stavang. So let's look at the theorem. Before we go to the case, we will look at the theorem here. When transaction costs are zero and efficient use of resources result from private bargaining regardless of the legal assignment of property right. Another version is when property rights are well defined and transaction costs are zero, private parties will bargain up a rate of optimal efficient result regardless of the legal assignment of rights. So what is this about? Well, Coase's case is about a rancher and a farmer and the cattle from the rancher kind of goes into the farmland and destroys all the crops that the farmer needs to provide for his family and to gain wealth. So here what should we do? If we would turn to the Peguvian approach we would kind of say that the cattle rancher he is enforcing a an externality, a negative externality to the farmer. And we would regulate him by maybe tax, taxating him or finding some other kind of regulation. So what Coase says here is when there are no transaction costs, when the parties actually can talk together, and both of them might benefit from a solution, from a bargaining, from finding a good solution. And they know who has the right to either have the cattle or have the farmland. Well, they can negotiate and they will negotiate the Pareto optimal result, which means that they will try to find a solution where both of the parties will wealth maximize without uh, the result being hurtful for one or the other party. The typical result here would be putting up a fence. But what Coase really contributes here is especially the idea that we should not intervene from the state when we have situations where the private parties can solve the problem themselves. And it's much more efficient to let them bargain. So here we, the parties will result in putting up a fence and that this would be the efficient allocation. We don't need to go in and tax one party or do deduction for another party. We can simply make it uh, up for the private bargaining and that is efficient.
of course this theorem has met critique points and some of, some of them are the assignment problem so in a world where there are many agents and not just two as in the case it can be difficult to assign the right to one or the other and an example here could be global warming another one is a hold up problem if we have joint ownership or rights we might tend to put ourselves in a situation where we do a hold up on the other party and that is not really good not leading to a parade optimal result a third critique point is a free rider problem if we have multiple agents there might be a tendency that one of the agents will consider being a free rider and not really doing what he or she should do an example could be a withdrawal from the paris agreement or not just just not really living up to the agreement a fourth point is the transaction cost on negotiation so many of these critique points, especially the fourth one, really elaborates on, well, private bargaining is good, but the more agents we try to include in this private bargaining, the less efficient the result might be. And the last point here with transaction cost, well, if there are many agents, there will be transaction cost in the actual negotiation. And... Therefore, this hard stipulation of there being no transaction cost, well, it it kind of ruins the, the efficiency and it, it may be too strong. But I will look into the quotient theorem with transaction costs in another video. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and let's talk much more about law and economics.